What's up, guys, and welcome back to Gabe Miller Music. Today, I'm trying out MIDI Madness 3. Now, before I get into this, this was sent to me by Plugin Boutique uh, as kind of a partnership with them. But I've had this idea for a video quite a bit before they actually contacted me because I've seen a few of these automatic melody generators kind of popping up here and there, and I've been really curious to see if they're any good. And there will be those who say that they're cheating, and maybe you're right. But in my opinion, you're going to have to do a bit of work to them to get them to actually be usable as a song. This is just an inspiration source like anything else, if it's used properly and not as a crutch. So the way I want to try to use this is try to make maybe a couple of songs, a couple of beats with it, have it spit out a melody, then build a chord progression and arrangement around it, and see if we can't get anything listenable out of it. So... I've got it pulled up here, and first of all, I've got this set to four bars, four bar loop, and this should loop satisfyingly, hopefully, and I can tweak a bunch of parameters that will change the melody that it spits out. So how high this is, is how likely that note's going to occur. So maybe throw in an F and maybe an A. Play it safe to start off with. So... Moving on, that's fine. And then let's set a couple of quarter notes just to mix things up a little bit. So hit generate. I'll drag that into my little default synth patch. Let's see what we got. Need like a kick or something in here to make that make any dang sense. It's a little random. It's a little random for my blood. Let's try something else. That's actually a start to something. It's really stilted, but let's see if we can actually work with this. First thing I want to do, go ahead and do force legato and then I'll try to introduce some syncopation into this because it's a little a little mechanical, which is to be expected, and that's why we have a human here making the music. Maybe I'll try to get some chords going, get a little basic pluck going here. So with that chord progression, now I've got this in a bit of a harmonic context that actually kind of makes a bit of sense. So it's not just this kind of ethereal floaty thing. So now what I want to do is just get these kind of jumpy little notes into a context that sounds a little more coherent. Like that little jumpy guy right there. Not what I want. Oh, all right. Okay, let's try this as a loop here. We're getting somewhere. It's a little cheesy, but I mean... That's kind of what I constructed this around, so I'll roll with it. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and try to build this into a proper drop real quick. Let's bring in a serum. Just get a basic pluck going. And then I want to get this up to 128. Get a proper little banger going. Whoopsies. Ooh. 
All right, now let's get a lead going, and I am trying to work fairly quickly, so I'm working with either some fairly simple sounds or presets. See if I can't dig up a decent lead here. Potential layer. Man, that's kind of giving me a bit of an Avicii vibe there. That's kind of bittersweet, not gonna lie. All right, here we go. Wow, that's a bit more emotional than I was expecting this to get just because of the kind of nostalgia and Whew. okay uh moving on let's try another melody here and then we'll call that a finished video it does not like it if these are independent that's odd all right select a scale let's just do something simple but then mess with it a bit give us a thing Wow, there is a lot going on there, but there was a little piece of something that I heard that I liked. This little guy right here. There we go. Alright, so we finally got this. Once again, getting more into the kind of standard progressive house tropes here. So I'm going to go ahead and drop it into the current framework of patches I've got going on here and uh, we'll hear how it sounds. Alright, so this has been my short little test run with MIDI Madness 3. I think it could absolutely be a very useful tool for getting out of a rut, just getting some ideas flowing, and um, there's a bunch of options in there for playing around with different keys, different modes, different kind of combinations of a bunch of different elements, and this is something I would want to dive into a bit more when I have a bit more time. But yeah, I think this could be quite a useful tool, kind of an inspiration machine, as long as you don't use it as a crutch to just write the thing for you and then roll with it. If you use it to actually just get ideas flowing and get something to work off of, I think it could be pretty useful because we, or at least I do tend to get in our own little musical ruts where we kind of end up playing the same kinds of things over and over. This could be a good way to kind of break out of that, get you thinking a little bit differently and uh, come up with some new stuff. So yeah, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much to MIDI Madness and Plugin Boutique for sending this over. If you'd like to check the plugin out for yourself or anything else that Plugin Boutique has to offer, I'll leave a link in the description and I'll be back with another bonus song kind of in the progressive big room style on Friday. So until then, peace.